I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on thermochemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Death Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I want to do a quick question with you on thermochemistry that you're likely to see on the dad. Fast work. You'd be in and out on this and I want to show you how you would do it doing a little math trick at blitzing speed. So come along and let's have a look. In our new issue of the Destroyer, I have a lot of these type of questions, so you really want to make sure you can do these quickly. How much heat is given off to the surroundings when nine grams of aluminum reacts? And I give you the equation, this is a single replacement reaction. Now, you should also have an understanding that it's not only a single replacement reaction, but this is a redox reaction. Why is it a redox reaction? Well, this is standing all alone, so it has a charge of zero, and this has a charge of zero. In this compound, if you crisscross, you would see that the aluminum has a plus three charge here, and if you crisscross this, you would see that the iron is in the plus three state. So as you can see, aluminum is going up in number. So that would mean that the aluminum, since it's going up in oxidation state, is being oxidized, and this would be the reducing agent. And iron plus three is going to iron. So that means that the iron plus three is being reduced, and the entire complex here would be the oxidizing agent. Okay, so that you should know in itself. Now, the first thing we want to do is this equation is not balanced. There's two aluminums here, so I need to put a two here. There's two irons here, and you need to put a two irons here. So the first thing you should always make sure you do in a, in a reaction is make sure everything is balanced. All right, let's write the given. We have nine grams of aluminum, and we want to know how much heat's given off. So we write the nine grams of aluminum, and one mole, you always convert it into moles. One mole of aluminum is 27 grams. Grams of aluminum cancels. This reaction gives off minus 900 kilojoules of heat for two moles. So you put the same word in the bottom. There's your moles of aluminum. There's two moles of aluminum. And it's minus 900 kilojoules. That crosses this out. Now watch the trick. You're going to have 900 times minus... I'm sorry, 9 times minus 900 divided by 27 and 2. Try to look for a quick escape. 9 over 27 is 1 third. Minus 900 over 2 is 450. So it becomes 1 third of negative 450 is minus 150 kilojoules. Because it's negative, that means that it's exothermic, which brings me to part B. How do the surroundings feel, hot or cold? Because it's exothermic, the surroundings get hot. If something is endothermic, the surroundings will feel cold. That's a guaranteed DAT type of question. All right, I hope this helps. There was a lot of information on this. So we got a little thermo, and we also got a little bit of electrochemistry in here and a little math trick. So hopefully you could walk away with some good ideas on what to do. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.